So here we have a question on getting off Fosamax responsibly. Oh, there's a lot in that question, so let's talk a bit about bone health. And I would really urge you to uh, go to the webinar section of my website and click on the webinar called Healthy Bones. And in Healthy Bones, I go into uh, how bone structure gets made, what happens to keep it stronger, what you can do to weaken it, uh, how not to do that. And uh, if you go see the Healthy Bones webinar, you'll understand a lot more of the basics that I'm going to outline here. But if you're already on Fosamax and you'd like to get off of it, uh, how do you go about doing that? Well, let's talk about what Fosamax is and why you might want to get off of it and how to do that. Um, in my video, Healthy Bones, on uh, that webinar, I mentioned that there's two types of cells in your body, in your bones. Uh, the osteoblasts that make new bone and the osteoclasts that break down old bone. And now why would you want osteoclast breaking down bone? Because life is a contact sport. And every time you bang your elbow on the table or hit your shin on the coffee table on the way to the bathroom in the middle of the night, every time you bang yourself like that, the little micro, micro cracks appear in the bone structure. And you want to repair those cracks quickly because just like a crack in your car windshield, if you don't repair it, it's going to extend. And the body knows that. So it senses that there's a little crack in the bone matrix and it sends in the demolition crew. And those are the osteoclasts, the big cells that secrete enzymes and dissolve the old crack bone. And then, so the osteoclasts then get out of the way and summon in the osteoblasts, and they're the ones that uh, build up new bone. And that's how the bones repair themselves. The, uh, the process is called remodeling, and thank heavens for remodeling. It keeps us from uh, uh, having bones that are all cracked and uh, ready to shatter if we fall on them. So uh, where does Fosamax come in? Well... Our medicine has uh, become a fairly lazy one, in my opinion. Instead of really working to get your bones stronger, we tell our patients, well, just take this pill. Well, what is the pill? Uh, Fosmax, whose uh, name is Olendronate, uh, belongs to the uh, bisph biphosphonate uh, class of drugs. And what these do is that they, pick the word here carefully, stun, they inhibit, they poison the osteoclasts. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, the scientists figure, well, you've got the osteoblast making new bone, the osteoclast breaking down old bone. If we can, we can wipe out the osteoclast, uh, then that gives the osteoblast a head start and ooh, bone structure will get bigger. Uh, and yes, that's true. That's what we see. But you can't fool Mother Nature. My biggest concern with these uh, drugs, besides their expense and their side effects, uh, they can sure burn a hole in your esophagus if those pills get stuck um, going down. They can also uh, prevent fractures from healing. And if the dentist is working on your jawbone and it cracks during the procedure, there's a good chance that it won't heal. Now, these are not sugar pills here. Uh, but... My major problem with osteoporosis is if you stop the osteoclasts from doing their job, and these drugs uh, certainly do that, Bonevo, all these that are these long-acting alendronates, um, they stun slash poison. I mean, uh, they induce this phenomenon called apoptosis, which is cell death, and the osteoclasts start dying off. Now, it doesn't mean that every single osteoclast cell in your body has been destroyed, but it certainly diminishes the number and function of osteoclasts. And, and you do indeed see the bone density going up on the DEXA scan. Yay, it's working. But we're finding out now that, yes, the bones look denser on x-ray, but bone density does not equal bone strength. What do I mean by that? Well, think of what, what you're really doing. The osteoclasts are dissolved, the old little cracked bone that you have down there. And if you stop that from happening and you just tell the osteoblast, put out new bone, new bone, to me that's like uh, going into an old rotten house whose timbers are decaying and rotting uh, and where the whole lower floor might collapse if you look at it wrong or sneeze on it. Um, but you take out your bucket of uh, fresh plaster and oh, you put a nice fresh coat of plaster over the wall. Whoa, looks great, doesn't it? 
But you and I both know that that wall that is still rotten, those timbers are still decayed and ready to collapse. And you've just made the outside look good. It's a bit of a parlor trick. And that's my concern. This bone looks denser on x-ray, but to the eyes of many scientists, uh, this is Franken bone. It's not really nice, strong, healthy, normal bone. It's this strange bone where just the osteoblasts have been slathering on this, uh, uh, this new osteoid protein. So you don't get really strong bone. And people fall and their bones still break because the bones aren't really strong, though they look denser on x-rays. So bone density does not equal bone strength. And you know, is the Fosamax uh, just increasing the... Uh, is, there a, is, a, is it a physiologic parlor trick, making look, bones look better, though they're not really on x-ray? Now, or not, not really in real life. Now people say, but, but the studies show that, uh, the, uh, that these drugs reduce fracture rate by 50%. Ooh, everybody would want that. But without getting too wonky in the weeds here, though, you should be aware that many of these studies use a bit of a of statistical sleight of hand. There's a difference between relative risk and absolute risk reduction. Now, what do I mean by that? Let's say that um, uh, you take 100 people, and uh, in these 100 people in 10 years, let's say... Um, three of them were expected to fall down and get broken hips. Um, if you then take those 100 people and put them all on Fosamax, and after 10 years, only two of them have fallen and broken their hips, well, um, the, 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 was, uh, the normal was expected three, um, uh, only by two. Um, that's, a, that's a 50% reduction uh, in uh, uh, let me make let, let me clean up the numbers right. Let's say that uh, two fractures were uh, expected uh, and only one occurred. Wow, there's a 50% reduction uh, in risk of uh, bone fracture. Uh, and with the, with the one out of three, there's a 33% reduction in my first example. Yeah, but the actual reduction was just one fracture. And meanwhile, you made the other 99 people take these drugs every day for 10 years for a fracture that they weren't going to get anyway. And so even though it looks like we're just at 50% relative risk, what was the actual risk? Did you just save one fracture, two fractures at the expense of these drugs and the side effects? Um, so do, uh, well, be careful when you see the, the claims made for these drugs and the percentage reduction. Uh, I'm, I'm not impressed by that. I want to see the actual numbers where you know they fo followed 5,000 women and there were hundreds and hundreds of fewer fractures. That will start uh, getting my attention. But uh, I haven't seen those kind of numbers. So how do you get off Fosamax responsibly? Well, as I say in my Healthy Bones webinar, you got to get those bones stronger. Now, osteoporosis is not a disease of calcium deficiency. It's not a disease of cow's milk deficiency. It's disuse atrophy of the bones. We are spending our time sitting in front of computers. We sit in cars, sit in front of the TV, and we sit and sit and sit, and our bones are dissolving as a result. It's, usually, it's generally disuse atrophy of the bones, made worse by things we do, to drink too much uh, phosphoric acid and cola drinks, eat too much salt, too much sugar. Uh, these things uh, increase bone loss as well. Uh, so, one, you want to stop the calcium thieves, the bone loss thieves that I talk about in, uh, uh, in my uh, Healthy Bones webinar. And then you want to strengthen those bones. And there's no easy way to do it, no magic way, no pill that will do it. You need to, just like muscles, you know, you want to use them. There's no magic pill. No matter how many steaks you eat, no matter how many cows' muscles you eat, your muscles aren't going to get bigger until you go to the gym and start lifting some iron or doing something, working in the backyard, using those muscles. Well, the same thing with your bones. Um, if you don't use your muscles, they turn into guacamole. You don't use your bones, they turn into styrofoam and they, they fracture. So use those bones. The easiest way to do it uh, is uh, off uh, Amazon or wherever you'd like. Um, get yourself a little weighted vest, a little eight-pound weighted vest is plenty. Uh, you put it on. Uh, if it's the kind with the removable weights, you can just start with an empty vest and just put in two pounds. And then take a nice 30-minute walk with that. 
the even better grab a couple of light hand weights, three pound hand weights and go for a nice walk. <clears throat> There's a thousand steps in a mile. So uh, you walk a mile with a eight pound weight, weight vest and a and three pound hand weights. That's a thousand times that weight has gone down your spine, down your hips, down your leg bones. And every one of those little gravitational waves has ooh, woken up your osteoblast cells to spin out new bone. Uh, and you take a a nice 30, 40 minute walk with a lightweight vest and a couple of hand weights every day, every other day, I guarantee you those bone density scores are going to go up, not because you poisoned your osteoclast with Fosamax, but because you've made your bones stronger by using them. That's the best way to get your bone density up. So the question was, how do you get off Fosamax? Well, first you got to get on the program and make your bones stronger. So get on a whole food plant-based diet, lots of dark green leafy vegetables for the magnesium and the vitamin K, and uh, you know get those bones stronger nutritionally, then uh, you know, go out and start using them. Take that nice walk every day with the weighted vest and the hand weights. Do that for six months, 12 months, uh, and... Once you get into the pattern, then tell your doctor, you know, uh, I'd like to take a break from the, that Fosamax, and my bones are getting stronger. I'd like to see, you know, oh, they're looking better on, on, on Dexia's score, she'll tell you, or he'll tell you. Yeah, but I don't know if that's just from the Fosamax. Let me see if I can, my program's going to get my bones stronger. It will. Uh, and then you don't have to go back on them. And if you're on the injectable ones, these long-acting ones, uh, again, get on the program, eat really healthy, nourish those bones, strengthen them with those walks with the weight belt. Uh, and, and by the, the walks, you don't have to do it all in 40 minutes. Just put the, put the uh, weight, uh, weighted vest, vest on and um, go, uh, go to the post office, uh, vacuum the rug. Do it. Just wear the thing and you're going to get benefits from it. Uh, you do that for six months, 12 months. Um, and then tell the doc, how about let's let's stretch out the interval in between the shots or the infusions or whatever, and then stop them. If that bone density is going up, you've won the game, you know, uh, and this is going to keep your muscles strong and your bones healthy the, the right natural way, and uh, you won't need uh, these potent medications that really don't get to the root of the problem. Uh, so you uh, take good care of those bones, and uh, they'll take good care of you. And that's how you get off the Fosamax and the Boniva and these other long-acting drugs that really just poison our osteoclasts, uh, but aren't really helping to make our bones strong. Now, when I say poison your osteoclasts, I know that's a scary image. And I just want to make it clear that your osteoblasts come back. Uh, these drugs, even after you've been on them for a long time, uh, do not obliterate every last little osteoclast uh, in your bone uh, structure there. So uh, not to worry. Uh, the osteoclasts will come back even though you've been on Boniva or Fosamax or one of these drugs for a long period of time. Uh, you nourish those bones with good diet and take them out for a good walk every day with little <laughs> gravitational stress from a weighted vest or, or just working in the garden using heavy tools. Start using your bones and they'll get stronger. They, they know how to do that and now so do you. Dr. Michael Clapper here and I want to thank you for visiting my channel and for watching this video. I've got a lot more content that I'm creating to answer health-related questions for you, my viewers. So please uh, subscribe to my channel down here. And if you found this video helpful, please like it and comment on it. Thanks for helping to spread the word about the power of whole food plant-based nutrition to heal both people and the planet.